It is week 33 and it's Saturday morning. We're at Roadford Lake in Devon. And what is not to lake? We're on a little family adventure today. Just uh, scooting around as far as we can around here. We came for a walk down here once, but uh, for some reason we had to shoot off. Uh, so today we're exploring it by bicycle. Let's see what's what. Uh, it must be up here. So we've got this nice little path that goes partly around the lake. And according to the Gump on their website, it says that there's a green and a blue trail here. However, I don't think they're going to be like uh, green and blue bike park wells trails for some reason. But uh, we've never fully explored this and it's about 15 miles from our house. So that's what we're doing this morning in the crappy weather because there's no tourists. Right, this is a shared sort of uh, all user path. So that's for pedestrians as well. So you've got to watch out for them. But we found this little offshoot up here. Don't know where that goes. So, uh, might as well go up there, I suppose. Right, we have come across the road for the roller coaster, which is blue apparently. Did not know this existed, so let's go and check it out. It's been up here all until here, so hopefully we can go down here in a minute. Yeah, boy. Right, I think you're taking the wrong turn in. Uh, you can see the quality of the signage. It just would not be Devon and Cornwall if there was quality signage. Sort it out. Right, we're currently heading back where we came from, but we did see a post on the floor. I don't know why people don't sort their posts and signs and stuff out. It's a tourist attraction. Anyway, so we saw it on the floor and there's a little trail that looks like it's sort of a groomed uh, for a cycling trail. And considering this is called the Roadford Roller Coaster, there's not been much roller coasteriness. So we're going to go and find out where that is and see what's going on down there. Right, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to be heading, down this little one in here. It does look lot much more fun. So let's get to it. Bit of off-roadiness. This is more like it. Yeah, we found a nice little downhill bit. I'm guaranteed if I put my jacket on, the sun will come out, so I'm baking now. <laughs> but this is quite a good fun little trail. Sam is enjoying it. Bumpies. Oh, yeah. Get along gang would not be complete without my wife. Yeah, <laughs> quality. Uh, you have to just have a guess where this one goes. Disappointed in the signage, I have to say. I know I keep going on about it, but it's not difficult to sort that out and cost pounds. Okay, so we scooted all the way to the bottom and uh, we've managed to find out where the entrance at the top of the uh, Roadford roller coaster is. Still yet to see any evidence of a green, but uh, Everyone enjoyed that, so we're going to go and do it again. That's quite a hill, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. No. Loving all of this family two-wheeled action. Long way, long way, ugh, long may this continue. How's it on your uh, kick bike? <laughs> they managed to sort this signage out. Boom. Okay, and here we've got a view of the lake. It's absolutely massive lake. Not sure how big, but uh, big. And a cool little overflow little thing there. When I get around the corner, you can see a bit more of it. I'll tell you a bit more about that because it's really interesting. Okay, so this is Roadford Lake. I have previously gone on my uh, kayak on there, which incidentally I sold a couple of days because I wasn't using it. And uh, this here is an overflow and there's like a tower with uh, some spiral steps, I think it was, that go down. And there's a tunnel that goes underneath the dam into a, a lower area, the other side. And uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you head on to, I think it's the Southwest Water website, you can do guided tours in there. It doesn't cost anything, but it's really interesting. And uh, it's amazing. They, they knocked this whole lake up in a matter of weeks it is bonkers so if you're interested in that kind of thing go and check it out
Okay, all done, and we managed 4.03 miles, and now we're gonna go home and have a nice hot chocolate. See you later. Good afternoon, cycling fans. It is Monday, and I'm heading to the post office. I've got to say, that is the steepest hill I've ever seen an articulated lorry come down. Anyway, yeah, it is Monday, and today is a good day because it does feel like this could be the first time for a long time where I don't feel like I'm going to get wet on the bike. <laughs> so uh, the weather is actually nice today. I wouldn't call it hot, more pleasant. So uh, yeah, hoping to get eight miles or so in today and get a good start to this week. Obviously I do say that, but uh, does appear to be some greyness creeping in. So I still, could still get wet, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm nearly up the top of this hill. My legs are not used to this. So I'm just a little bit south of North Cotmouth at the moment. And when I was riding along, I thought, there's actually quite a lot of people in the sea here, which you never see because it's not lifeguarded. But today, the are and are here. So I don't know what's going on there. You can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a red banner there, sort of telling you not to go there because there's a rip. But uh, yeah, I've never seen that many people there. What a nice day. Well, the UK doesn't get much better than this. It is heaving over there at some of these and Crooklets, both busy. See how windy it is today, shall we? All good. Where do you think the rip current is in this picture? The uh, RNLI is going mad at the moment because people aren't swimming between the flags and there's lots of little rips today. I can't remember seeing it that busy for a long time, certainly not last year, obviously due to obvious reasons, but uh, even the year before that when I surfed quite a lot in the summer, I can't recall it being that busy. I must get surfing soon, I know I keep saying it. But uh, I reckon my leg will be, my knee will be good to go in a couple of weeks, I reckon. Incidentally, I did have a game of tennis last weekend and I thought my leg would buckle under pressure there, but uh, no, it was good. A bit sore afterwards, but uh, all good. And uh, hoping for more of that. And also, in my little village where I live, someone has started up a little five-a-side uh, competition, not competition, weekly five-a-side game in the, uh, in the uh, all-surface playing area thingy in my little village. So I will be taking part in that when my knee is sturdy enough. And I can't wait, because I love a bit of five-a-side football. you're not going to cycle on here well the sun is fast doing a vanishing act but i have to say i've got the sweatiest back i think i've ever had it is humid today oh and this hill is hard work oh dear i did see loads of traffic earlier when i started off at the top of this hill so I don't know what's going on. There is a T-junction there and there's always crashes. So better go, hope it's not too bad. I'm sure it'll be possible because the road's not closed. I see at least one fire engine. Don't worry, I'm not going to post any gory stuff. A couple of fire engines, I reckon, and a car maybe spun round. Looks like I've got to wait here. Looks like we're in business. Yeah. 
that's why I don't ride you along the outside of this slip road anymore. It's so long and people just don't see you. The roof there had its roof chopped off. Sorry, the car had the roof chopped off and someone was getting medical attention on the driver's seat. So I think they cut the roof off anyway if someone's broken a fingernail these days. But uh, everyone looked to be all right, really. Take care, cyclist. Right, hot sweaty mess now, but uh, did manage 8.93 miles, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, do hope everyone involved with that accident is okay. You do have to be careful. And uh, like I said in the video there, I did change. It's a really long slip road up there that takes you off of the main road. Um, and uh, I've had a few close calls there where cars have come up alongside me and not seen me as they're pulling in. So I always take the left route there now and it's just safer. Uh, it's not worth the shortcut going the other way. So uh, anyway, that is that today. I will see you tomorrow, perhaps for some more. It is Wednesday morning and that can mean only one thing. Stratton Bike Park with Sam. Okay, yeah, uh, Wednesday morning, so that means we're back at the bike track. I think we're only going to have one or two more sessions here, I think, because the schools will be going back soon, and I cannot use this when schools are in term. So, here with Sam, and apparently I've got to rescue a snail or a slug or something like that. What is it? A slug. Right, this has better be good. Oh dear, hello mate. That's probably not going to be very uh, comfortable for you. Should we uh, find a twig or something? Right, better sort that out, Dr. Doolittle here. Today, we are going to try and get five miles out here today at the track. Normally, we get probably about two and a half miles because we're messing about doing jumps and stuff. But today, need to get some miles in. I was just uh, had too much on at work yesterday to, uh, to get out on my bike, unfortunately. And tomorrow will be my last time before the way day. So, uh, today is a day of getting a few miles in and doing a few jumps at the same time. Lots of snails. Definitely have to keep the uh, kids entertained during the summer holidays. And today Sam has brought his tractor with him because he likes nothing more than to dig up some sand with a uh, excavator of some description. Isn't that right, Sam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do a stunt. That was good. Nice one. So I'm just going to scoot up and down here a few times and get a little bit more distance in. Okay, it's 10 to 11 now and I start getting narky when it gets close to lunchtime. So uh, we're going to head back and uh, have some lunch. I don't think we've done as far as we wanted to today, but we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> Weirdo. We didn't quite get our five miles today, but we got pretty close. 4.73. Uh, we did a bit of messing about. Sam played with his digger and uh, also thrown a golf ball at my fat belly, which was quite her laugh actually. Uh, but we'll have to find something else to do next time because uh, Sam's lost a golf ball. How was the ride for you? Good. How many times did you fall off? Um, about five. Yeah. Did you hurt yourself today? Yes. Badly? Um, not not really, really, did you? You got a couple of little scrapes, didn't you? Yeah, and a little cut. But you brave? Crack on next time. Right. I'm hungry now. It's time. See ya. Welcome back to the end of week 33 of Blob on a Bike and my mission to cycle 2,000 miles in 2021, which is not going too great. <laughs> anyway, I've covered all that stuff in the past, so let's crack on with what's happened this week. Um, so at the weekend on Saturday, I think it was, we popped out with the family to uh, Roadford Lakes and had a little scoot around. It was a bit tumbleweed, but we did find a nice uh, Roadford roller coaster trail. That was quite good fun, but apart from that, pretty tumbleweed. And it would be nice to be able to have a route loop that goes all the way around the uh, lake, but there's not one, sadly. Um, but that was good fun. Um, on Sunday, we didn't get out on our family scoot along, unfortunately. On the Saturday, my wife tried to do a double backflip on her uh, uh, scooter and unfortunately landed on her elbow. So uh, she was out of action for the rest of the weekend. Um, she didn't quite land it. Um, but then Monday came along, and I think I got out to the post office on Monday and Tuesday, um, of course, and then Wednesday, my little man, and we popped down to the little cycle track. Uh, that was good fun, but you do not get many miles in, unfortunately. Uh, the school holidays will be over in a couple of weeks' time, so that will free up a whole bunch more time for me on a Wednesday. Um, and then Thursday. Thursday was weird. I literally woke up super early yesterday morning and could not go back to sleep. And I was literally zonked yesterday. I just had no energy whatsoever. But I did manage to ride down to the local post box 
uh, which did become a longer trip than I anticipated because there was a cherry picker blocking the path that I used to nip down to the other industrial estate. So I had to go the long way around. So I think I did just under two miles then. So uh, that was as much as I could handle yesterday. I was done for. Anyway, I feel much better today. It is Friday and way day and 107.7 to beat. So I'm going to show up and get on the scales. So 107.7 kilos to beat, that was last week's weight. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I have been eating pretty well, but it's just been a pathetic week mileage-wise. So uh, although I've done a few lots of exercise, they've only been quite uh, short ones or uh, small ones. So we'll have to wait and see. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So let's get on with it. Uh, hang on, let's, uh, there's something. For, oh, hang on, let's try again. Yeah, not what I wanted. Well, that is a little bit disappointing. 108.7 is this week's weight, which I'm not very pleased about, to be honest with you. But like I said, it's been a bit of a pathetic week of exercise. Uh, but things are looking up. I am pleased to report that yesterday was the first day when I did not have any grief for my leg, either through stiffness or just pain in it, basically. So that is a good thing. Um, and I'm hoping to capitalise on that a little bit later on today. Um, funnily enough, on Wednesday evening, I managed to pull a muscle in my shoulder uh, whilst watching the television. Um, so uh, that hasn't been very comfy the last couple of days, but it's not enough there to stop me on my bike. Um, Interestingly, since I've, I have actually still got a bit of a bad back since uh, my last week's escapades at the cycle track. Uh, so that's a little bit painful and sore still, but again, not enough to keep me off my bike. And funnily enough, when that kicked in, I also started getting my funny nerve in my big toe again. So that's always semi numb as it is, but uh, starting to get that tingling uh, heat sensation again in that, which is not good. Uh, but hopefully that will pass as my back gets better. There's definitely something going on with some nerves in my back or something I think that is affecting my uh, affecting my foot and my feet. Also, yesterday when I woke up, I had that funny feeling in the bottom of my feet, just very, very uh, minimal, uh, that plantar facetis stuff, which uh, is not very pleasant if you get it full on. That's horrible. But uh, it wasn't really enough to notice once you've got your socks and shoes on. Uh, so... Anyway, that's enough excuses over. This week is looking better, but before we get to that, if you haven't already entered the competition to win one of these t-shirts, there's two I'm giving away. You can enter on Instagram or you can enter on Facebook. Uh, so get to it. I think the draw, I said the draw will be on Monday, but that's actually a bank holiday, so I won't be here then, I don't think. Um, probably a day off out on the scooter or something on my bike with the family. Who... Oh, excuse me. We shall have to wait and see, won't we? But uh, if you've not already entered, get on with it right now. Excuse me. So anyway, today I am doing this a little bit early. In fact, perhaps my weight might have had something to do with the fact, partially, because I'm doing this early. I haven't had a chance to do my mega uh, weight loss donkey wee wee. Uh, so that's probably having a, a little bit of a factor on there, but that is not an excuse. It's still pony. Today, I'm hoping to get down to Old Hill Bike Park. I want to get out early before it gets too hot because it's clear blue skies and a scorcher today and I do not like riding when it's too hot so I'm going to get down there as soon as I can and uh, probably get there before my lunch time which is great and that will be it I'll come back and do a bit of work this afternoon obviously so anyway if you're still listening to this rubbish please hit the subscribe button it's just down here somewhere give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know how you have got on this week because I'm always interested to learn thank you for watching see you later